All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Stranger Things season four, episode three. Now, in the last episode, Fred got Fred did not make it out of the last episode, right? Um, you know what I realized too when I was editing it? The cop said his full name, right? He said Fred Benson. You know who? You know who's also named Fred Benson? That's Freddy from iCarly. Yeah. Well, he got waxed, so he's dead. Um, okay, so it seems like Vecna, that's what we're calling him now, he's building an he's building an army. And so far he has Chrissy and Fred. Maybe he has more that he collected off screen, so we don't know about them yet. Maybe, I don't know, so far I think it's just an army of two. Because he's always, like, he said to Chrissy and Fred, like, I want you to join me. You know, I want to end your sufferings, whatever the fuck he, whatever he means by that, you know. So, okay. Kind of kind of sounds like he's trying to build a cult here, but okay. Actually, the crew from uh from season 3 actually kind of we have a new member in it now, but it's Steve, Steve Robin, Dustin, and who the fuck else was with them? What was one more per Oh, and Max, Max, Max. Okay. Yeah, it was Steve, Robin, Dustin, and Max. Last season, it was it was Steve, Robin, Dustin, and Erica, but now it's Max instead of Erica. I guess that's our new little crew we got going on here. And they found Eddie. They tracked him down, they found him, and he was terrified. He was scared shitless, you know? I would be too. And he's like, you're not gonna believe me if I tell you. I'm like, oh, bet, bro, bet. We're vets. We know what's going on. Just tell us what you saw. And so now they can use the information he tells them, and then they can try and figure out what's going on here, right? And then, Elle literally just walked up to Angela and just took the rollerblade and just whacked her. Fuck that bitch. You know? She deserves it, bro. She deserved that. Like, I hate this girl so much. Like, the show is really good at making me hate this fucking 14-year-old girl. You know? Like, I... But I wonder if Elle's gonna have uh, real consequences to what she did so we'll see about that and then i guess joyce is going to the bank to just take 40k out to go break out hopper now like, here's the thing okay so jagan told them yeah okay bring you have two days bring me 40k and meet me in alaska right okay uh and then he just hung up and said don't call back again okay let's say they decided not to do it let's say joyce and Murray like shit we, we can't do that so we're not gonna go is he just gonna bring hopper to alaska in two days no matter what and just pray that they show up or like is he just banking on that or what because like he's not gonna I, I assume he's not gonna talk to them again until this two days he's supposed to see them you know like that's kind of a lot for dragging the risk because like what if they don't show up what is he just go gonna bring hopper back like they're gonna know he's gone and then it's not like they could just show, pop back up you know so i feel like that's kind of flawed right there but okay but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the flowing through action that will be available on Patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of Stranger Things will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Right. Ruth Nevada. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. What the fuck? Oh, it's no. No, it's they're here for him. They're gonna come. But just he knows too much, or they're just gonna come get him. I don't know. All right, they need his help then. Okay. There were no Ooh. signs. Of does this remind you of anything, Doctor? No, it doesn't. Are you sure? I don't know what you're talking about. Something is going on in that town that nobody, nobody fully comprehends. Yeah, that's why I got the fuck out. That's why I'm in Nevada now. Because it's men of science, men like you who created this problem in the first place. Okay, I guess. That has happened and Hawkins can be traced yep. back to Brenner's little pet. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Dr. Brenner trained her for this very thing. Remote Damn. assassinations. Yep. We can do this the hard way. Okay, she's in California. I don't even think he knows that. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why she, this, she was created like this in the first place. So Brenner could do remote assassinations, you know? I was kind of like wondering, like, why? What was his motive in the very first place? Like, obviously, he created her for a reason, but I, that just confirmed the exact reason why, so. Can you tell me your name? Ah. Um, uh, do you know where you are, Angela? Um, Brinkamania. Brink no, I hope that bitch is concussed. That future prom queen is gonna be fine. I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Get hurt when they get smacked. <laughs> yeah, because it happens more than you think, man. Dude, they're so high right now. 
Hey man, that's a sensitive word, okay? It wiped out half of living things in all of the universe. I mean, obviously, Elle feels like shit about what she did. She already has... What the fuck? Sore eyes, huh? Hey, Murray. The kids like... Probably feels bad about all these accidents she's had before when she was a child and stuff. She doesn't want to... It seems like she doesn't want to do it, but she just loses control, you know? I mean, like, back in season one, she had to do it. She had to wax those people at the school. That's totally justified, but, like, you know, in the beginning of season four, it was like, oh, that was, that was... That was... That was bad. That one was bad. I don't think she wants to be that person, but sometimes I guess she just can't control it. But I have to go to a conference tomorrow mm. in Alaska. Hmm. All right, I guess they're going. I guess she got that 40K and we're going. Alaska. You're going to Alaska? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. The girl got smacked in the head today at the roller rink. Smacked. Yeah, it was one mm -hmm. of those. Anyway, she she looked like she's going to be fine. She's totally fine. She didn't look fine. Mike, why would you say that? Mike. Al. Mike. You finish your... What? Okay, it was already extremely rude of them to like say that in the first place. Jonathan and his buddy. But they're so high, they probably forgot it was all that even did that. You know, but... But like Mike, Mike, why would you say that? Like, smacking, dude. Still have no idea who he is. <laughs> yeah, same. I don't even know his name. Give me a couple episodes and I'll get it. But it's like Mike, that's her girl. You gotta take her side no matter what. Any like, you gotta take her side. Like if I had a girlfriend and she did some shit like that, yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? But at the end of the day, like I'm taking her side. What have you done? Yeah. Oh, this is, this is the house in the- Yeah, this is Vecna's house right here. Oh. Hell yeah. Well, well, look who's- Oh yeah, and all these- All these guys are gonna go try and kill fucking Eddie. Because they think Eddie killed Chrissy. Relax. And we're not killers like Eddie. Bro, you're what do you? Oh, I want to talk to him. Jesus Christ. Bro, then why why do you need a wrench? Why do you need all these weapons? You're gonna go beat the fuck out of him. You didn't know, Chris. If you're not up to this, you can go home. There's no judgment. You'll still. Yeah, I'm I'm cool. I'm sh I'm cool, bro. I'm not going with you. But Lucas might try and stop him. I want to help. Hmm. All right. He's gonna go with him, and then he's he's just gonna get in their way and stop him. Lucas isn't really gonna do it. Like, there's no way. Jesus. Delivery service. Fuck off. All right, bad news. We tapped into the Hawkins PD dispatch with our Cerebro, and they're definitely looking for you. Yep. Also, they're uh, pretty convinced you killed Chrissy. Like, 100% yeah. kind of convinced. News? Your name hasn't gone public yet. But if we mm. found out about you, it's only a matter of time before others do too, and once- Yeah, if we can find you, they definitely can. The cops definitely can. I mean, it's- Like, the fact that he, he got out of there as soon as she died, and just dipped, that makes him look super guilty. But I get he was hella scared and didn't know what to do. Like, so. Smoke related, but bottom line is, collectively, I really feel like we got this. Yes. No, not this time. In in more of the brainstorming phase. Brainstorming. Yeah. The uh, we're definitely gonna die phase is next once we realize we can't do shit about us and they already found this. Wow. Oh, they're going somewhere else. Yeah, they're going to the Fred. Yep. Ah. Surprised nobody accidentally ran him over. You said last you saw Fred, he was by the picnic table. Do I have that right? Yeah, they sprinted off into the fucking woods. Oh, they're all here. Sup, Nancy? We know. Does the picnic table ring a bell? Nancy, you gotta come here. We gotta tell you what's going on. That's probably comforting for her to see, at least. She's like, oh, it's familiar, you know? Mike, apologize to her for saying that right now. Mike doesn't even want to be around Will. That's tough, dude. But he's gonna go bring it to L. Like Mike's body language at the table just kind of seemed like he didn't even want to be around Will. So, um, are we just not gonna talk about it? No, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing happened. There's nothing no. to say. 
Yeah, exactly. No. You don't. Damn. Okay. I am different. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't know like her own like her her whole backstory. In Lenora? No, in in public with civilians. Anywhere. Yeah. I'm a murderer. I'm a killer, Mike. This is the sk this is the skin of a killer. You think I'm a monster too? No. What? Yesterday. I mean, if you tell him what really happened back, like, decade ago, then maybe. Not true. I was surprised. Maybe I was a little upset in the moment, but I mean. Like, damn! I didn't know you moved like that. But you don't you don't love me anymore. Oh no, no, that's not. Who said that I didn't? You yeah. didn't say it. Oh. You can't even write it, Mike. Ah. Uh. Oh. From Mike. Not one letter says I love you. Oh, Mike. And you're a superhero. Hmm. Yes. You're my hero. Not anymore. Ah. Uh. Damn. She, I don't think, she hates herself, dude. For who she is and what she did in the past and then. Hi, is uh, Jane Hopper live here? Uh, yeah. Nope. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know who that is. N never heard that before. Never heard that name before in my life. I'm a brother. Um, uh, for you may or may not be aware of an incident that happened last night involving Jane at the ring. Yeah, Jonathan. We have a warrant here that says otherwise. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on. That's crazy. That doesn't need to happen. Hey there. Jane, why would you walk? For, why would you walk in the fucking, oh my God. God damn it, dude. Just stay calm and everything's gonna be fine. <sighs> Has mom's flight left yet? Ah, oh, fuck. We, uh, we're not, they're not going to Alaska. Fuck, they're on the plane. Now oh, they're about to take off. They're about to take off. Well, fuck. If you're Joyce and you get, like, wait, they can't really call her. It's the fucking 80s or whatever. You know? Okay. Unless I call the plane and give it to do it, whatever. If you're Joyce, do you go back for L or do you risk not getting Hopper? What do you do? Like, I'd say go get Hopper anyway. Like the opportunity to get Hopper is not gonna last forever. Like I'm sorry, Jane, but you can you could you could wait a day or two for me to get back. Like this is really gonna save me if we crash. Oh, they're already taking off. Okay, fuck, they're already flying. All right, well, whatever. Irrelevant now. Jinya. Musor. I'm about to break you out. What are you calling me an asshole to pick for? Yeah, I see. Yep. Oh, if my pilot gets the money, he will bring it to me in his plane tomorrow. Okay. Get your right with him back to your country. Okay. When I talk to her, mm -hmm. I can tell by voice that she's very pretty. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that about Joyce, buddy. Hopper's about to be your ass. You miss that plane tomorrow. I am still rich. Yeah. And you're still... Boy. It's just why most of you got. <laughs> Nosy bastard. <laughs> Where do you want it? Yep, the punch. Yeah, that's tough. This is something different. Something new. I mean, why them? Maybe yeah. they were both at the game. And near the trailer park. We're at the trailer park. Oh. Uh, Let's go somewhere else. So maybe Fred and Chrissy saw this Vec man. Vecna. Vecna. But he might go to your, your shrink. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so where are you going? Uh, there's just something I want to check on first. Something you maybe want to share with the rest of us? Yeah, you want to tell us? Time, it's a real shot in the dark. Oh, no, tell us. I don't give a fuck. Tell us. I don't have a license. Why well, don't you have a license? Oh, I'm poor. I can drive. No, oh. no, never again. Please. Bro, it's literally like 30 bucks to get a fucking license. It's not that expensive. It, dude, back in the fucking 80s, it's probably cheaper than that. <laughs> Swear to God, if somebody out of this group fucking dies, I'll be so hurt. Any of them die, I'll be, I'll be hurt. I'll be extra hurt if Robin dies. Not gonna lie. Or Steve. I'll be extra hurt if any of them die. It's the goddamn babysitter. Hell yeah, Steve. Hell yeah. Steve, you're the best mom they could ask for. Oh no. 
Is he scouting right now to see whose next victim is? God damn this right. Oh, yep, they chose him. Oh no, Patrick. Lucas? What are you doing with these douchebags? Yeah, Lucas. Well, he played D&D &D with them. He used to be in their club. They know my sister. God. They try to recruit me to their club. Oh. They tr they tried to recruit? Fuck off. <sighs> oh, you have eyes, don't you? He's not here. Oh my god. Yeah, that shocked Lucas. Lucas is like, whoa, I thought we weren't going to hurt anyone. Drums with a broken hand. Dude, fuck off, Tom Cruise. What? Destin Henderson. What? Destin Henderson. <sighs> All around looking for Andy. Maybe he found him. Yeah, and then Lucas heard that. Watch. Lucas, he does what, like he wants to fit him, but yeah, Lucas, when it comes down to it, he's going to ride for his boys, even though he hasn't seen them in a minute. They kind of had a little fallout. When it comes down to these douchebags or his boys, his day ones, he's true to his day ones. And why did you hit her? She was being a bitch, that's why. I don't know. Ah. Yeah, when you explain it to them, they're going to be like, that's not a legit reason why. And she got a grade two concussion. Did you? <laughs> Good. Hope I gave that bitch CTE. Did you want to kill her? Uh, yeah. I don't know. She didn't know if you wanted to kill her. Ah, uh, that was not a good answer at all. That was not a good answer. No, you didn't want to kill her. No, you don't know. I don't know. Ah. God, no. Her mugshot. Jane Hopper. I'm gonna make this a thumbnail. After which point she'll be transferred to juvenile hall. What? Uh... Jane, find your mother. Fuck. She's in Alaska. <laughs> We're on our way. She's in there. Yeah, she's in there. Mike, what are you doing? Mike, what are you doing? Mike, Mike, what do you what do you think you're gonna do right there? I mean, at least she sees him, I guess. Fuck. I feel so bad for her, dude. She seems so lost. You and your husband have exciting plans. Uh, not my husband, buddy. Ugh. Yeah, I'm good. I'll just starve. You know, okay. I feel like for Elle being as old as she is now, and for being around good people for as long as she has, they haven't really raised her right. You know, like, there's so much she doesn't know. Like, how to talk to cops, how to interact with people, how to deal with your anger. Like, I feel like they she wasn't really taught too well. Which isn't her fault, you know. It's the people... I think it's the people, everyone around her. They're not teaching her the right things. Raspia. You hit, I give bread. Right. Yeah, he's got the chain somehow. That's the sledgehammer. Uh no. Oh. Again. Ah. Uh. Crazy, but yeah, uh, had to get out. Spooky Victor Creel, like seventy years old. Yeah. Yep. So he's not capable of murder. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's not capable of doing it anything like that anymore. She has to confirm it. Being modest or hiding something super solid up your sleeve that you were gonna wow us with later. <laughs> no. Did I come off mean or condescending or something? Ah. Uh. Sorry. It's just you seem annoyed or a strong grasp of social cues. Yeah, that that's true. But no, she's not annoyed. She's just. She's just trying to do this one thing, and you kind of just talked. You just kind of went on this tangent and said a little bit more than you needed to. That's all. And Nancy's just trying to get this done, you know. But it's okay, Robin. Keep trying. You're doing great. Okay, she's in. Okay. I'm missing collarbones, not eyes. <laughs> we gonna talk about it? Uh. Sorry. What, what about that fucking pedo sash? Earlier today when you basically threw yourself yeah. in Nance. Yeah, he still has feelings for her. Yeah, pretty public. There were like a lot of witnesses. Uh, are you <laughs> so hard in your face that your teeth will fall back out? Oh. Mm. Too far. <laughs> that face bump. <laughs> With everything that's happening, 
with all the murder. Oh, this is a guidance counselor. Okay. What if there was a serial killer on the loose in my neighborhood? Oh, pff, what are you gonna do? She would she would hear that. Uh, the office. Okay. Or she would have heard that. So fucking. Oh my god. Where the hell is Sinclair? Yep. The, yep. Luke is dipped. <laughs> He's gonna contact him and be like, guys, guys, guys. Yep. Bobby? Dustin? Lucas? Where the hell have you been? <laughs> you guys know he killed Chrissy, right? No, he didn't. You're so behind, it's ridiculous, okay? Yeah. I think some real bad shit's about to go down. You mean about what bad shit? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my. Lucas? Oh, no. No. What are they gonna do? I found one. I know where Eddie's hiding. He's gonna throw him off hella hard. No way he actually well, I mean Dustin gave him the address, but Dustin told him exactly where he is. But no way he gives him that. He's gonna tell him something. He's gonna tell him the opposite direction and throw him way off. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh wait, it's the fucking um people from the beginning, the fucking military people. Oh, who were talking to Owens. Has to be. Yep, Owens, yep. Damn. Hey, kiddo. He ratted her out. He helped him. He found her. Unless this is like his own team and he's looking out for her, but I doubt it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the money. Wouldn't TSA be like, why the fuck do you have all this money? God, this is spring? Well Jesus Christ. Or was there was airport security not that serious back in the 80s? Or something like that. Ah. Oh, he's trying so hard to not show that pain. Ah. That's horrible. But now he's going to be able to take that chain off. Because his foot just fucking broke. Mm. Mm. Ah. Ah. Oh my fucking I can't even imagine. Like airport security had to be serious enough to just open the bag real quick of a quick look. You know. No way they just let people on the plane without even looking in their bag or like check giving a brief look, you know? Any mention of Dr. <laughs> Big waste of time. And you're uh, obviously bored, so why don't you just call Steve? Um, I'm sure you want, but I mean, I'm not really in danger here, so. God damn, now Robin's gonna feel like shit. Totally not a thing, right? What? Tension between us. It wasn't. <laughs> Someone's gonna write about that. It's gonna be these weirdos. Real claims vengeful demon killed family. Oh shit. That shocked a small community. Haha, ha, that's very funny. Yeah, is she lying or not? Not kidding. Oh shit, okay. Well, they found it. Several insiders. Victor believed his house was haunted by an ancient demon. Alright, so Vecna's Victor. Has to be. That's his house. That's literally his house. That's the that's Vecna's house that he's just kicking it at. Victor believed he was spared as a punishment. Now, if Victor was declared legally insane by the court, right? Well, what if this is yeah. why records were sealed? Mm -hmm. What if a demon did invade Victor's home? It, it definitely did. It was Vecna. Yeah, it was Vecna. Able to retrieve some confidential and extremely personal files. <laughs> yeah, and not just Chrissy's file. Fred was seeing Miss Kelly too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go around this way. Me and Sinclair, we keep going. Did Lucas give them the actual location Dustin told him? You won't know what hit him. What? Unless Lucas has another plan to fuck them over hella hard. I don't know. But Patrick, but Patrick, he's infected, so he's about to start tweaking any second. And he's probably gonna die. He's it's probably gonna happen in front of them. I, I, I relocated you guys to Lenora because I thought, you know, okay. far from Hawkins, nothing could happen here. A roller skate or something? Okay, so I guess Owens is doing this all on his own. He's not actually working with them yet. He didn't fold. The roller skate thing? No, 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 no. We'll make that go nah, away. Yeah, we don't give a fuck up. Don't we don't give a fuck about that. That's irrelevant. Hawkins is in danger. Yeah. So I guess when he saw Chrissy, those photos inside, he just realized, fuck, it's back. 
Even though he said he doesn't know what that's about, you know, he just was like, ah, no, I don't know. It's nothing like I've seen before, but he realized. It comes back stronger, yep. smarter, yes. deadlier. Yes, it does. A war is coming to Hawkins. You sure Eddie was here? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. It's, it's not the right spot. It's not what Dustin told him. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? There are good people. Oh, he's dipping. He's getting the fuck out of here. He's like, fuck you. I I don't fuck with either. He's stealing their car, too. We can't win this war. Why is Hob doing push-ups? Fair to ask more of you. But we need you. Here, if I didn't think this was the only way to hit this thing so hard, it can't get back. Yes, but her powers don't work anymore. I don't have my powers. There was a way. A way to bring them back. This moment would come, so yeah. I've been preparing, developing a means to restore your abilities. Oh, okay. Damn, he's been putting in work for us. Back stronger than before. Perfect. There are others who don't believe in you. Yeah, like that guy. If you're the cure, mm -hmm. and that's why I ask that you leave with me now. This program fails. You will never see your friends again. Fuck. In Hawkins, are they in danger? Yes, they're about to be. I mean, wait, so she's just gonna ditch fucking Mike and Will and uh, Jonathan back in California? Okay, okay. Wait, so is it happening in the Max too? No, don't tell me it's happening in the Max. Yeah, she's reading the same symptoms that happened to Fred and Chrissy too. And she's realizing it happens to herself. It's happening to her. Yep. <laughs> no! No! Do not kill Max right now. I swear to God. Do not kill Max right now. Because the last two people died at the end of the episode. And this episode is about to be over. Good. What if I'm the monster? No, Matt. No, El no, you're not. Go be a monster to Vecno. Come with me now. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. If I'm her. Yes. Yes. Those eyes. Yes. Oh, they're already gone. That's kind of fucked up. They could. Oh, they left money, I guess. All right. Oh shit, I thought that was about to be- I thought the episode was over, fuck. Fuck, no, Max is by herself, no, and dude, fucking Steve and Dustin are gonna see her tweaking. Oh no. Don't kill Max right here, do not kill Max right here. Fuck, that dumbass fucking clock. Max. Mm. Oh god. That was unpleasant. Fuck. Alright. Max might be dead. Alright. Alright. Dude, by, in, by the end of the season, I'm about to have fucking night terrors with that goddamn clock in it. Alright, so that was Stranger Things Season 4, Episode 3. Oh my god, okay. So basically, Max is gonna die. Alright, sick. I mean, she's a main character, so maybe not, but like, Freddy and Chris did not stand a chance against this shit so i don't know i don't know i don't know like i i'm not I'm not too confident about her chances about her odds if i'm being honest so all right so it seemed like Elle was pretty lost with herself you know she was kind of she had like these impulses that she couldn't really control well i mean like okay dude with angela it's like that's not even like an impulse or anything like that that's just being fucking pushed 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 and pushed until you just finally break, you know? I feel like most people would just finally break at that point. You know, it's not like she just snapped from nothing, you know? Nah, bro. Like, she, Angela was just pushing, pushing, pushing. And until, you know, that's... That, I feel like that was pretty justified. But we got to see the legal consequences of what she did, right? It, that's the shitty thing. It's like, somebody could just verbally torment you. And then there's really nothing you can do about it except verbally torment them back. But if you're not as good at that, it's like... You're never gonna win that you know it's not gonna be the same you know but i mean like physically i think the, the worst they did was throw that drink on her at the roller roller rink or whatever but like still that's pretty fucked up but yeah dude why were those cops fucking pressing her so hard dude why are they being so fucking just rude to her like what the hell and then like going back to like what i said it, like l she's been with you know regular people for a pretty long time now like a couple years like at least three four years now it's like you know, she. I feel like she probably should have learned 
more social etiquette, better social cues. Like, dude, she doesn't even really, like, her English is broken half the time. Like, her English isn't great yet. Like, her English is really not that good. Like, it's good enough to, like, we know what she's saying and what she, what she wants to say and what she's trying to say. But it's not, like, it's not fluid. It's not natural to her yet. So it's kind of like, I feel like they're not really teaching her too well you know like i get it's not their job but like still like you know like you know how she was raised and everything i i would probably take it upon myself to kind of help her out you know as best as i could if i was one of them so but whatever it doesn't matter because fucking owens broke her ass out of jail they were on the way to ju the juvie or whatever and then owens caught up to them took her and like look ellie you want to save the fucking world or not okay your friend's all gonna die if you say no but if you if you don't want to then okay i'll just take you back home but everyone's gonna die if you say no and you know she was like fuck it i'm down you know i feel like yeah she feels like she can't fit in society or whatever she's not she's not a regular person you know based off the way she was raised and everything and like her powers and her impulses and stuff what happened back in episode one of this season on that flashback so i feel like she took it upon herself to be like no this this is my mission like this is my life i i gotta do this you know so love to see it but then yeah then owens was like i can bring your powers back and i can make them stronger than ever he's like i've been prepping for this day for a pretty long time now because i thought it would come and at first i thought he kind of folded you know and chose and joined them and decided to help them out the military people but nope he said i don't know shit he's like i don't know anything i don't know shit he did not fold he didn't fold like fucking jonathan jonathan folded so hard when those cops came to the door but burke burke knows what's good dude he knows okay good shit burke good shit and then okay like the dynamic routine between nancy and robin i think robin was just annoying nancy a little bit just because you know, Nancy, she's serious about her shit. She wanted to go to the library, figure this shit out. And, you know, Nancy in her head, like, was thinking, yeah, this is a dumb idea. But, you know, I just got to see. I just got to try it out just in case or whatever. And, like, I feel like their personalities just aren't really too compatible in a way. Like, I don't... Okay, I don't mind Robin. I think she's hilarious. But, you know, she does kind of go on tangents a little bit and kind of... Like, she says more than she really needs to sometimes, and I think that was just pissing off Nancy. Like, not pissing her off, but just annoying her. She's like, look, Robin, get to the damn point, you know, in her head. That's probably what she wanted to say. So, but Robin actually figured it out. Robin, she actually was onto it, you know? She was like, look, we're gonna check these... We're gonna check these files that these crazy people, these weirdos, they saw them and then they figured it out. They found they found out that Victor Creel was already being harassed by Vecna back in 59. The murders that Victor Creel committed, he was actually framed for by Vecna, you know, and he's going fucking insane, like, oh, like telling every, you know, he told the police what he saw, but they're like, no, so you're insane and you killed all these people. So, um, are they gonna go try and talk to Victor Creel in prison now or what? Because they know the truth. They know the truth behind him. They know he he's probably an innocent... They know he's an innocent man. So, probably trying... Yeah, go to prison and talk to him. So... And also, I'm happy for Lucas. Because he... I feel like he realized... Yeah, fuck these fools. These are not the type of people I want to be around. Like, he wanted to fit in and have a good time. But... He, he's realized... Yeah, these aren't, these aren't the type of people I want to be around. Like, they're not good people and everything. Like, they're trying to kill Eddie when Lucas knows he, they, he didn't fucking do it. Now, granted, Lucas has a lot more context on everything, given the past three seasons, than they do, but at least he can look at it from an unbiased point of view and be like, look, I know he didn't do it. What they're doing is wrong. So, I, yeah, he took him somewhere random. And when they were like, yeah, go over here, go over here, Lucas went the other way, he bolted, and I'm pretty sure he's just gonna take their car and dip and leave them there, St leave them stranded, because he's got his day ones, he's still loyal to them, so I'm assuming he's gonna go back to them, go link up with them, and then they're gonna, it's gonna be just like the old time, so can't wait for that. And one thing I want to talk about is like, in the beginning of the episode, when they're all like having dinner, and then you know jonathan and his buddy were talking about that girl at the roller skate they're high out of their minds saying like oh yeah this girl got whacked and stuff like that you know and they're like yeah but she'll be fine then mike goes like she didn't look fine you know and then okay obviously, yeah and it pissed off l super bad like dude what the fuck is wrong with mike like why would he say that like i think mike's in the wrong here for that because it's like dog like is that his fucking passive aggressive way of saying like l you shouldn't have done that that was a mistake like that was so that was very uncalled for you know was that like his way of saying that but just super passive aggressively i feel like mike's just like not aware of her feelings 
and her insecurities because obviously she's insecure about that you know or he just he's too afraid to speak up and actually have an honest conversation about it you know it's like you know if like my girlfriend did that i would be like yo we can't do this like we can't be doing that okay but like with especially Elle and the way she was raised like going back to when i when i said that like okay obviously like Elle already feels like shit about it you don't have to say that and kind of you know emphasize the fact that like she shouldn't have done that i, I would have talked to her and be like hey look like we can't really can't be doing that all right like but i wouldn't fucking make her feel that i would i would try not to make her feel bad about it so I don't know. I Mike's just kind of pissing me off, dude. Mike's been pissing me off a little bit since like season three. <sighs> season two, one and two, he was cool. He was a bro. Then season three and to now, he's just kind of pissing me off. I feel like he's just too un. He's just not aware. He's, he doesn't have much self awareness or aware of his surroundings. So he doesn't really have situational awareness. So, but all right. That was season four, episode three. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.